Virtual warfare with a dummy rifle. Sergeant Robert Butler returned from Iraq with post-traumatic stress disorder, what was once called shell shock. But by repeatedly running this computer scenario, it enabled him to unlock and discuss troubling wartime experiences which had been buried away. I'm a completely changed person. Am I 100% better? No, because post-traumatic stress disorder is always going to be a part of my life. Those memories are never going to go away. But it definitely has helped me to take steps and file that information. It does come up. It gets processed like every other memory. And I'm able to do the things, you know, a lot more now that I enjoyed before the war. Many American and British troops suffer psychiatric problems after serving in the Middle East. Virtual Iraq is combined with extensive counseling. In trials, 30 out of 40 subjects were able to return to full duty. Well, as we know, the, the, our different senses, smell and, and sight, are very powerful cues as, as to our memory. And instead of allowing the person to continue to avoid these memories and have them continue to haunt them, if we bring them out into the daylight and really face them, we find that we can really decrease the negative ramifications that they have on the individuals. The smell of war comes from this machine, which releases the scent of burning rubber, Middle Eastern spices, even body odor. I went on a virtual armored patrol in Iraq. A turn of the head changes the view from the driver's seat. This is quite an intense experience, and you can see how the sights, sounds, and even smells of warfare could help unlock some troubling memories for combat veterans. The virtual Iraq program is now being used to treat more and more American service personnel like Sergeant Butler. But the Ministry of Defense in London has yet to be convinced, and there are no plans to use it on British soldiers. Fergus Walsh, BBC News, San Diego.